Good morning everybody. Nice and sunny today. Again, here in Melbourne, Australia, probably around 20 degrees Celsius. Yesterday was 25, which was nice. Nice day to go to the, to the beach. And today it's just a bit more chill, but still sunny, which is great. So today I'm thinking on preparing a little bit of um, this part here in the garden so I'm gonna prepare for the tomatoes so I want to add a bit of compost because as you can see I just removed the um, sugar snap peas plants and now I'm giving way to the tomatoes and the weather is not as hot as the tomatoes like but still that's why I want to prepare today so in a few weeks when everything gets warmer I will start uh, transplanting the tomatoes into that space so I'm just gonna grab these This is what is living under there. I just leave it there. They just leave, they find a new home, new place to to live and to dig in. So I could use this compost, but it hasn't been filtered, uh, which still have a lot of big pieces, chunk of wood, uh, rocks, even like avocado seeds, which takes a long time to decompose um, just because they are very big seeds and very hard so this one here is filtered compost so easier to use it's uh, easier to apply not many big chunk of stuff actually there is a bit but Hopefully not so much. I'm just gonna add a little bit of it around here. Just wanna put a little bit around where the tomatoes will be. Not so much around them because I haven't planted much in there. It's only where the sugar snap were planted. So just to replace all the nutrition that was taken from that part of the of the of this space of the garden. They were all planted. Like on the sides. So this is quite easy. I just will do this. Another two times. Last one. Right, that's it. Very simple. I'm gonna fix and level up that soil. I'll be back. I'm going to try different tools. This one, maybe I can reach a little bit more and I still be able to like 
move everything around. I got a few more tools inside there in the garage. I may try. Let me see what I can. So I think this one will work pretty well since it can work as my hand and I can just move things around even though it feels a bit weird but I'll bring another one This one may work better. I can even break with a bit of the soil, move it around, move it work backwards, forwards. And I don't have to kneel or bend my back. Well, a little bit, but not so much. As you can see, they start looking a little bit better, more level, and it is sprayed all around, which, which can help a little bit the soil that will, that will be surrounding the tomatoes. Oh, this is a good technique, I like this. This kind of like pulls a little bit of the soil where there is excess and just level everything else. So, I don't know, it just works really nice. So it's like small, little chopping uh, movements, motions, and then it kind of drives a little bit of that excess soil and then levels the rest. Oh, that's warm. It's hitting my back really nice. Crazy. Uh, that's it. Maybe like some some more on this side. Great. That's looking nice and. Clean. Should be the same motion. This is working really nicely on the other side. Not nice too much. So that's it. Looking good. Last thing. So I'm gonna I'm going to add some mulch just because it helps with the weeds, which was a lot of weeds there, so there's probably a lot of little seeds, little plants trying to grow, so the mulch will keep them down. And I only have to plant the tomatoes, uh, which I already have in the greenhouse. So I will be transplanting that into the soil. So they are already like this tall, so I just have to dig a hole after I mulch. So I mulch, dig a, dig a hole, and plant the tomatoes there. So very simple. If I plant from seed, I may try to avoid mulching just because the seeds want to have the space to grow. But even that, I can like open a little space where the mulch is and allow the seeds to be there without being covered with the mulch, if that makes sense. So, well, I'm gonna mulch anyway, so I'll be back. Okay. 
There we go. Massive pile of mulch. Let's go. So, I'm gonna start from the back. Just to be organized. To be honest, I really like mulching. Not just because of the benefits of it, but because it looks clean, looks organized. And I like things organized here in the garden. And everyone else, er everywhere else, my room and everything. But yeah, this is make it look like really smooth, you know? And uh, so it's nice to have just like one color. So you will see a lot of brown. And if you see any greens, which is all the... Um, all the weeds coming up then you can like pull them and don't let it grow so it's a nice contrast visual contrast that you can use to get rid of the weeds that eventually comes up I'll say probably around one or two centimeters of mulch. I don't want to add too much, just enough that is like a small blanket, thin blanket of good stuff. This also releases nutrients into the ground, uh, which helps the plants grow and do like, yeah, just good nutrients in the ground. And, um, what is the other benefits? It keeps the water. So now that we're entering summer and the tomatoes will be there, the soil probably would be very dry. And this will allow that soil to keep moist because it will retain all the humidity that tries to escape from the bottom of the soil. And this will catch it because it's so dry. So it will just catch it and release it slowly. try to remove or to harvest more of these carrots since they are shadowing a little bit on this part so if the tomatoes are there I'm concerned that they may not receive enough sun which I think they will but also the leaves falling on it because they are like they are quite big the tomatoes so maybe they, they don't get hurt as much if the leaves of the carrots touch on them so I may just leave the carrots there but still like I, I still I can harvest a few of them right now because they look big enough This releases a lot of dust, so if you can use a mask, it will be better for you. Big chunk of mulch, I like that. I can shake it.
All right, and that's the end. Mulching. If you had enough of mulching, then now is your time because this is the end. Great, so if I need more mulch, I will add it eventually. But that's how it looks, really nice and clean. And if you see any greens, I will just start pulling them. Get rid of any weeds in there. Like that. Great. So great job. I'm gonna, I see a carrot in there and it's looking like ready to leave the soil. Good size. Uh, maybe this one. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe no. I'm just gonna pull it. Whatever. Oh, it's okay. Two carrots. That's all right. Tops. Wash it eventually. This going onto the pile of compost. Oh, I got more compost there, as you have seen. But because I don't have much space in the compost bin, so I just put them on the side, which is nice. I don't mind it. It looks organized anyway because I I distribute them like in two piles and they just don't look like messy, you know? Um, some people may argue it's not the best looking thing, but it's a garden. So you gotta have piles of things and soil and compost. So I don't mind it. As long as everything else is organized. Checking on this, that one is small. That one is looking alright. Uh, let's take the risk. Yeah, maybe I'll leave them a little bit longer, the rest of them, because I'm just pulling small ones. Still quite good. Like. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna keep messing on them. Maybe losing a few good carrots that could grow a little bit more in size. So I got those, what is that, four carrots. Four carrots in there. I mulched and that's it. Nothing else to do today. I'm just gonna go inside, maybe relax. Today is Sunday here in Melbourne. And uh, if you wanna, stay for the tour i'll give you a tour of what's happening with the beans the corn this corn is looking good but that is the corn that is being hidden i need to rescue all the time and then there is the other corn which is growing too as you can see there uh, there should be another one here which is being hidden Need to rescue as well. There's some leaves out so I can get some sun so it can grow eventually. Corn here, pumpkins. I need to give some space. Oh, that one is good. Um, some space for the pumpkins. I don't know the weather is just too cold. Usually in previous years, 2018, the first of November was 30 degrees. This year is like was like probably 18, 20. So not that warm. And then the rest of that month in 2018 was 
really warm and I'm, I'm just really shocked that the weather is so radical every every year like some month could be 18 degrees and the other year is gonna be 30 degrees usually like through, during the month so anyway that's um chamomile all the herbs looking good you can see the progress if you look at the previous videos where i show you uh what this is looking like you can go and can go back and see what it looks now what it looked before uh the chilies which i chopped probably one one two months ago um they were like slowly getting back to life they still had a few leaves like these massive leaves but i was concerned because this all, all this small growth was not happening so it's like oh maybe it's gonna die but no it just needed a little bit more sun and more summertime rosemary love rosemary i made some roasted uh roasted how do you call that uh wedges kind of like looking wedges potatoes and i added some rosemary to it oregano salt macadamia oil and paprika yes paprika another key ingredient for my cooking i love paprika some what else um, let me show you try to show you inside there so we got um that's uh golden beetroot just here golden beetroot a little bit of normal beetroots here but they are the babies um i planted some lettuce a few weeks ago and they are popping up I just see them today, so I'm actually really happy to see that they grow. Because sometimes things don't grow, and it's really annoying. Uh, but it's a journey. You learn, and then you see what works, what don't work. So replacing the soil, feeding the soil is very important. Uh, there should be leaks, little hairy leaks, like small green little things, but there is none. Let's search for a few of them. Uh, well, there is one, I think. Uh, just in the middle of the screen. It's too small to see it, but hopefully they are all growing. I see actually three of them, which is good. It's a good sign. They are growing. So maybe it's just they're taking their time and I just need to give it time for them to grow. Be patient. Gardening is a lot of patience. Lots. There should be some parsnip coming up, but they are not. Um, which I don't know why. Hopefully, as I said, patience. Carol, I should have. Oh, sorry about that. The zoom was out. Um, zoom, zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in. Was zooming in. Um, Carol organic variety it's called um, Toscana kale I always forget the name but now it's coming to my brain a, bit, a little bit quicker since I mentioned it pretty much on every video that I make uh, these carrots onions onions are looking are looking good yeah yeah they, they are getting big and chunky these are normal kale, the ones that you usually buy in the shops. As you can see there, still small. But maybe I can harvest those Toscana kale soon. Kale chips, I always mention kale chips. So, kale chips, very easy. Oh, look at all these, wow. This one is like making so many asparagus. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ferns that one is only two and the other one at the back nothing so go figure what's going on there but at least i have all of this beauty coming out potatoes looking good that one is going to flower i hope 
this one was a little bit weird and slow but I hope they grow well and to finish the tour around the garden pomegranate tree it's looking really nice the leaves are vibrant vibrant green and a little bit of red it's, it's nice it looks healthy I just don't have any space to plant it so I may get it I may take it to my grand grandparents house which they live only like two minutes by car and give it to them I actually gave one to them a few years ago but it ended up dying or they thought it died so I think they stopped taking care of it and then probably died and because during the winter like this this tree actually during winter it lost all the leaves and it was just like a little thin stick with no leaves on it winter then summer came look at that looks beautiful looks green full of life strawberries ah strawberries strawberries always a disappointment because of that I need I need to move this this spot <laughs> because as you can see all the that slummy thing coming from the snails so snails are eating it so I need to to move it I I'm gonna do it tomorrow or today actually I should do it today because you know you say tomorrow and nothing is done but I actually do things tomorrow because I have to do it and I like to do it so this is a disappointment. <laughs> This is just a blueberry plant that um, unfortunately died. I may buy another one in the next few days. Because summer is here and they like the summertime. Um, all the ceilings looking all right. Yeah, they're looking okay. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoy all the all the knowledge that you can take from the little things that I did today, such as mulching, uh, harvesting your carrots, um, and everything else. So if you enjoy the content of the channel, just please don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, share it to someone that you think may enjoy this little trip in a urban setting of a garden so i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good day